Hello, my name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. If you love card magic, you're in the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to do an effect that I published almost 50 years ago. I call it the Variance Variant. And it's just a trick with five playing cards. Four kings and a two. Let's take a look. We're going to mix these cards up. Give them a couple of good shuffles. And I'm going to do something with four cards from this pack. The cards I'm going to use are going to be our kings. So let's get out our four kings. Got four suits, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. There they are. Now I'd like to point out uh, two attributes that the kings have that uh, some of the other cards don't have. So our four kings, actually all the court cards, have a very similar look. Matter of fact, it's really kind of hard to tell one king apart from one of the others. Now the other attribute that the kings have, compared to the other cards, is the amount of ink it takes to print. A king is a lot more ink than, let's say, the two of clubs, or the ace of clubs, or ace of spades, or the three of clubs. So that fact that uh, these four cards have more ink on them than that deuce uh, makes the two lighter. Now, well, it sounds kind of suspicious, but let's prove it. I'll put the two underneath the top king. And I just wait a second, and that two literally floats right up to the top. Let's try that again. I take the two, place them underneath the top king. Just wait a second. And that two literally floats right up to the top, going right through that top king. Now this time, let's go down and put it two down. So we'll have to travel through two of the kings. So you can see them there. And I just wait one second. And just a tap. And he floats right up to the top. Here, we'll try that again. I'll place the two. Third from the top. And just wait a second. Yeah, it happened. And that two floats right to the top. Now we'll do this again. That two now goes third underneath three kings. You can see him there. And yet, snap of the fingers. He jumps to the top. I got one more tasks to do. We're going to put that two right there on the bottom. So he has four cards to go through. One, two, three, and four. Four kings he's got to travel through. Watch that two. I just have to snap my fingers that fast. It happens. That two now floats to the top. Now sometimes people ask me if they can do it in reverse. They can, but you have to make the two heavy. And the other four cards you have to make light. Hey, if you like the effect, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Now, back in the summer and fall of 1973, that's quite a few years back, I wrote this little book for Gambler's Book Club called Here's My Card, and this routine's in it. I called it the Variance Variant, and my starting point was uh, some ideas of Ken Krenzel, but I was uh, able to get his thinking down to a single deck and just five cards. It's clean the whole way through, no extras. So I think it's a nice improvement. And uh, over the years, my friend Mike Powers has uh, worked on this routine and he has a couple of uh, nice uh, thoughts on this routine that he's published. Anyway, if you love sleight of hand magic, non-gaff card magic, make sure you click on that subscribe button over there. And if you love oil and water and want to see a real visual version of it, click on that link right there. It's one of my favorites. My name's Al Ackerman, and I hope to catch you the next time.